Hello, for this be a good opportunity to update on the different football situations that are happening, mostly in Europe, but also just a brief mention about the Belarus football. Somehow I managed to miss the last two weeks, but I did try to do um, a video the other day there using the IBS, but it was playing up different loading issues and things like that with the different video setting re resolution and stuff, so I still need to try and figure out. Um, to make it quite clear as yeah some what buffs and stop starts and uh, yeah it didn't really work out too well for that and yeah I really should have done the previous week as well too and yeah also been doing the Nigo Argoon at football where they are on to the final tomorrow there so hopefully I'll be able to get that video out for you as well too so stay tuned but yeah for this video here we're basically talking about how the French season has decided to cancel despite having 10 matches left to go and still with a few months uh, left around to play with because it seems like I suppose August the usual start date for the next season is what they're trying to squeeze it in and do it before then possibly though dates have been shifting and different situations can occur of course but they decided to award PSG to be the champions and well they gave in the bottom two clubs being Amiens and Toulouse. So PSG would have had 68 points at that stage there, 12 point lead over Marseille. They also had a game in hand as well as Strasbourg. So they put it into average points per match. But basically it's basically what they already achieved with the points per game. So it's just those two clubs that were meant to play each other and then it got postponed. And then so did all the rest of the matches and they haven't played since. And at the bottom there we have Toulouse that were on 13 points, Amiens on 23. And then above them with Nimes on 27. And that Nimes would have been in that relegation playoff match there but that has been scrapped. And instead two teams on the top of the second division, Liga 2, get to be promoted and there'll be no other additional playoff matches to make the top flight. So it does seem like PSG would have inevitably won the league anyway and Toulouse would have been inevitably relegated but basically for Amiens it seems to be very harsh there, 23 points, only 4 points behind teams there with 10 games left to go and I heard something about them filing a legal pursuit uh, to try and keep them up in the top flights and so I somewhat have to agree with that there. I don't know exactly uh, how their remaining fixtures were like as well too because they might have had a few other easier games against some of the lower teams well for names and whoever was above them as well too that was close to the drop might have had some tougher matches so yeah it does seem quite harsh because you do go into the season expecting to play the 38 matches but only play 28 matches it's a bit more of a lottery shootout and in terms of like how you prepare for matches and the whole season in general there with like wasting players for particular games here week in and week out you might have had a different sort of lineups for different games there if you knew that it was going to finish quite a bit shorter and instead that doesn't get realised and of course there might have been an additional uh, home match or two as well too that might have got them over the line so yeah we still have to eventually figure out how this all ends up in France because it hasn't exactly been resolved even though they have claimed these different things there including what was the Mbappe getting the Golden Boot award as well too and for the other divisions, we had the Udinese Netherlands Dutch League abandoned with eight matches left, with Ajax and AZ being on the same number of points there, so they couldn't exactly award a title there because they're basically joint either, unless, of course, they decided to get joint title winners, possibly. But, uh, yeah, I don't exactly agree with, like, awarding champions or abandoning the season in the whole. The other idea is just want to see the seasons being completed 
whenever they possibly can before moving on to the next season which possibly maybe they could um, space out the Wamini fixtures as well of the Champions League and Europa League into the next season and then scrap the actual next season in completion there and will replace with the remainders of this season and those few other cup matches spaced in between and then maybe fill it up with some uh, international friendly matches, competitive games or something, not quite sure. But I think that might be a better way of resolving the issues instead of awarding different clubs titles that they haven't exactly earned and relegating teams that have been quite unfairly unjust. Uh, also there's the Bundesliga talk of resuming next week clear, so that sounds quite great. There's been a few players that have contacted the virus though, but um, I also got the Premier League who's also getting some preparations on restarting as well as some other countries. So I have to see how that all pans out there. Still lots of different things to decide upon. But uh, yeah, hopefully you just enjoy this video. Bit of a brief overview of what's happening there. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And comment below any other videos that you might want to see. Cheers.